Hello and welcome to a quick video on a very important area of the chemistry exam, mechanisms. Now there are three main ones you need to know and they could ask you all three and that could be a good you know, 15 marks, even 20, so very important. So mechanisms, these use curly arrows, that sh these shows the movement of electrons and there's two types of bond breaking which happens to these mechanisms you need to know about. Well firstly, just the mechanism is basically there just to show how the electrons are transferred in a reaction because that's what a reaction is, it's a transfer of electrons. So there's homolytic fission, which is breaking covalent bond and one electron from the pair goes to each atom to form two radicals. Radicals are just a species with an unpaired electron. Heterolytic fission is breaking a covalent bond and both electrons go into one atom forming two ions. So the first of the three you need to know, electrophilic addition. Now, this is when you have an electrophile, and an electrophile is an electron pair acceptor, and you have one product, it's an alkene, and you add this electrophile and it becomes one, so you have two reactants, oh sorry, yeah, two reactants, one product. And in this, I mean, there's many examples, but the common one I'll give you is bromine. It might be hydrogen bromide or just hydrogen. And here it's ethane plus bromine becomes 1,2-dipromoethane. And this homolytic fission occurs because one, because two radical, well, one electron from the pair is given to each of the two atoms, which we'll see in a bit. And here is the mechanism. Right, F important thing, so first step, ethene. The you draw a curly arrow from one line of the double bond to Br. Then Br's got a bond between another Br, and then the bond goes from Br with another electron going to the second Br. All you just need to know is that the original, it just the electron goes from the ethene double bond to the delta plus, so the slightly positively charged bromine, and then one goes from the bromine bond to the negative or delta delta minus slightly negative bromine now curly arrows come from the bond and go yeah from the bond each time go directly to the atom and this forms something called a carbocation it's just because it's got a little plus at the carbon make sure you draw it next to the carbon so one br is now bonded but there's still one left this is Br minus, it's got a pair, lone pair of electrons which then is attracted to the centre of the carbocation and that forms 1,2-dibromoethane. I say it's quite hard to actually explain these in words but if you just look at them that's what you need to write down. And the only thing, if it was hydrogen bromide, it is hydrogen at the top. So you, you see bromine at the top, second bromine at the bottom, hydrogen at the top, delta plus. Next one, nucleophilic substitution. It's when a nucleophile, which is an electron pair don donator, bonds or substitutes a another molecule. If you um, if you remember the uh, reactions of the um, halogens, they displace each other. It's very similar to that. So you have you know you have Br two, and then it's displaced becomes Br minus. It's similar to that. In this case, you have you have iodo iodo ethane plus hydroxide ion becomes ethanol plus iodide ion, and this occurs by heterolytic fission. And yet again, here is it very simply. OH minus has the lone pair. Lone pair goes to the carbon with a delta plus, and then the bond between the carbon and the iodine breaks, going the iodine's delta minus. And then it just they swap around. Pretty simple. And now, while this one is easy to draw, because you don't really draw it, is quite. I think it's a bit. I think it's the hardest. Free radical substitution. Now this is usually chlorine. Um, chlorine, when under the presence of UV light, Cl2, will break by homolytic fission, forming two chlorine radicals. And basically, free radical substitution is when radicals come and substitute usually a hydrogen. So here we've got methane plus chlorine becomes one chloromethane plus 
hydrochloric acid. And here's how it happens. Three stages. You have inis initiation. This is just Cl2, homolytic fission, breaks the bond, and you get um, two Cl radicals. Propagation. Methane plus one chlorine radical becomes CH3 radical plus hydrochloric acid. And then CH3 radical plus Cl2 becomes CH3Cl plus Cl radical. Um, now, this will happen over many millions of times. It keeps repeating because all the chlorine radicals are reused. Finally, termination is when all the radicals you've created. So you've got Cl radicals, CH3 radicals. They all react together. So it'll be Cl plus Cl, CH3 plus Cl, CH3 plus CH3. So these forms chlorine, one chloromethane, and um, ethene. Now, why there's so many products is because bond breaking is a completely random process. So you can get... Well, since they're, they're, they could, in this case, it's obviously only CH3 dot, but it could be different radicals formed. So you get many radicals joining together. And that's very simply it. Electrophilic condition, nucleophilic substitution, free radical substitution, learn them. Just look at the actual drawings I have. This one isn't really a very verbal one. Just look at it, copy it down again and again and again and again and again until you've got it. And that's it. So I hope that all makes sense. And if you've got any comments or questions, please ask. So, yeah, thank you for listening and goodbye.